With the release of the S23 series, a lot of people have been looking forward to Samsung's One UI 5.1. We saw a lot of interesting new One UI features like maintenance mode and even some new camera features. But pending when everyone is able to get access to the S23 devices or they get the One UI 5.1 update, we're still stuck rocking One UI 5. However, there are so many amazing features that come with One UI 5 and surprisingly enough, a lot of people do not even know about most of them. Samsung even brought over a lot of awesome features that came with iOS 16 to One UI 5. And today we're going to cover some of the most impressive features that you can enjoy right now. Did you know that in the photo gallery, you have the option of copying text from any image that you have taken or downloaded. All you have to do is press and hold on the text part of the image and you will have the option to select and copy it. And it doesn't just work for photos. If you have a video that has some text in it, that text can actually be copied. As you can see, you can just tap and hold on the text in the video and you have the option to copy it. So it works pretty much exactly the same as on iOS 16. Previously, you could do the same thing on Bixby Vision, but that would require you to first tap on the Bixby Vision icon, then wait for you to scan and analyze the image before tapping on the text and then selecting it and then copying it. So it was just a lot more convoluted with a lot more steps. Now it's very intuitive and very easy. Still in the gallery, you have the option to make a transparent cutout of any subject from any image. When you're in the gallery, head into the edit section of the photo and then you will see the icon for the cutout. You have three options. You can snap to shape, select manually or deselect. And when you draw around the subject, it will snap to the subject and there you go. You have the subject with the transparent background and you can use it for your YouTube thumbnails or whatever else you need it for. The result is actually really good. The edges are clean and as long as it is a high resolution picture, you can use it for whatever. You can even edit the mask after you've made your selection so you can make it more precise or you can cover more objects within the cutout. It's really highly customizable. And what's even more exciting is the fact that on One UI 5.1, you can just tap and hold on the image and it will automatically select the subject and cut it out without you having to draw around it. Now I've updated my Galaxy S22 Ultra to One UI 5.1. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on my video discussing the most discussing the most interesting features of One UI 5.1. I'm sure a lot of people did not know that you can now add a watermark to your images. And it's not just the generic device name watermark that you see on most devices, but you can customize the watermark that you add to your photos. Personally, I don't want to use the device name watermark, but the date and time watermark might be pretty cool. You can change the font or you can even use a custom text like your nickname, for example and you can even change the alignment. I'm sure everyone remembers the amazing lock screen enhancements that came with iOS 16. Well, now in One UI 5, some new lock screen modifications have been made. You can just press down and hold on the lock screen to edit it. You can edit the font and the color and you can even select different clock styles. You have a lot of options by default and you can even get more if you download the clock face app. But that's not all though, as there are a ton of cool wallpapers for you to choose from as well. You can choose any of the graphical wallpapers that they've made available, or you can choose from the color section and there you can customize which colors you want to put together to form your gradients and even change the gradient style. And what makes this great is the fact that you can now find all your lock screen settings in one place, as opposed to previous versions of One UI where you had to go through your main settings and start searching for your lock screen settings. This is a lot more streamlined and intuitive and I think it's a great change. You can edit the lock screen notifications and you can even add some contact information directly to your lock screen in case you need someone to contact you if you misplaced your device. You can also edit the app shortcuts on the lock screen so you can put a flashlight and your dialer or your camera or any other pair of apps that you would want quick access to while your phone is locked. I think the changes made to the lock screen are pretty significant and important, but let's move on to the next feature. On the home screen with Android 12, you got the option to match the color palette to your wallpaper. But now on Android 13 with One UI 5, this option has gotten some more refinements and additions. You now have more options with regards to your color palette and you can even apply some filters to the wallpaper that you selected. There are also some visual changes to the home screen on One UI 5 as more icons have been themed 
with the selected color palette. And even the volume slider now has your color palette applied to it. And there's also the addition of some new and really cool widgets to One UI 5. For example, there's a new smart suggestions widget which shows the applications that Samsung believes you use often on your device and gives you easier access to them. And now you can also stack widgets by just dragging them on top of each other and swiping left and right to scroll through the widgets. The settings and apps weren't left out of the new One UI features as a lot of additions have been made to these categories. For example, you can now set individual live wallpapers for different contacts as opposed to just setting one live wallpaper for all your contacts. You can even use a video as your live wallpaper and if you do use a video then you can set the sound from that video as the ringtone. And speaking of ringtones, you can even set a special version of the Samsung ringtone over the horizon that was produced by Suga of BTS for all the K-pop fans out there. Oh, and if you're always running late or you constantly forget to check on the things that you're cooking, oh, look. let him. Then you can now set multiple timers on One UI 5. And even if you exit out of the timer while it's running, it will still show up in the picture in picture mode or as a pop-up window. And after a while, it will get matched to your color palette and shrink to this pill shape that looks like the dynamic island. It's still not available in stock Android 13 or even iOS 16, so this makes it a One UI 5 exclusive feature. Now, Samsung rebranded the Bixby Routines function to Modes and Routines, and they even added some new features to this category. I think they wanted to dissociate it from the Bixby moniker as people are a little hesitant to use things that are tied to Bixby, regardless of how impressive and useful these features actually are. You can now choose who is allowed to text or call you while you have this mode turned on, and you can even choose which applications are allowed to send you notifications. You also get to decide when or where this mode turns on automatically, and even beyond that, you can even choose specific screen settings. For example, if you wanna turn on the eye comfort shield and dark mode. You can also set the volume or even choose to play some music automatically. So the modes and routines function is a lot more useful than just managing your calls and notifications. If you're someone who has specific routines that you do every day at specific times, then this feature can help you completely automate those routines or those tasks. Another pretty big change comes in terms of notifications. The notifications icons are now quite bigger in One UI 5, which makes it easier to identify which apps are sending notifications. Also, the lock screen notifications are now located under the notification settings and not the lock screen settings. And now the notification settings for each app have received even more refinement as you can now choose which type of notifications you want to receive for each application. And there's even a toggle to add notification content on the lock screen if that's something that you want. I think this is a pretty substantial upgrade to the notifications, especially considering how all the notification settings can now be found in one place. And moving on to the next feature, we've got some pretty interesting multitasking options with One UI 5 although they might be a little bit difficult to find. Head into the settings menu and go into the advanced feature section. There you'll find the labs menu. Over there, you can find the toggles to swipe up for pop-up view and swipe for split screen. These two toggles make multitasking easier than ever. To enter split screen view, all you need to do now is swipe up with two fingers and then you can choose whichever app you want to enter split screen with. And if you want to enter into pop-up view mode, all you need to do is drag from one corner, usually at the top, and you're good to go. This is also a pretty nifty way to get picture-in-picture -picture mode for apps like YouTube that do not support it unless you pay for the premium version. Those are just some of my favorite features on One UI 5. And as I mentioned earlier, I have the One UI 5.1 update already, so I will be making a video about that very soon. In the meantime, you can check out any of my other videos in this playlist.